Yes. I have returned, and it seems that for once, God damn OBS is working. <laughs> oh well. Let's see. I got more coffee. Yeah. <laughs> So cheers, everyone who is still here, and everybody who is, who is arriving once more. We were in front of a door that has some weird sounds behind it. And I've opened a poll for all of you, and none of you voted. So I guess I'm just going to do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> uh, let's stop that poll. Nobody voted anyway. Stop it. There we go. And... Wait, wait. Wait, wait. There we go. It should be stopped. Well, Muffin, I quite clearly said I was going to open a poll for it. And it was in the chat. So, fuck you too. <laughs> I love you, but I hate you. It's going to be fine. <laughs> so... I think, since I get to decide, since none of you said anything, I think, fuck it, we're gonna, we're gonna stop this torture. I feel fine. I have a stamina of 18 right now. I feel fine. Fuck this shit. So let's see, we were at 300, right? Yes. If you try opening the door, turn to 102. I'm gonna open this door. 107, 8, 10, no. 2. Where's my 2? There we go. The door isn't locked and opens. The room in front of you seems to be a small torture chamber. With various torture devices around the walls. If this, in the center of the room, two small hunched back creatures are having their fiendish way with a dwarf who is tied to a hook in the ceiling by his wrists. The two hunchbacks are poking and cutting him viciously with their swords. The dwarf lets out a final scream and falls silent, eyes closed. His captors make disappointed no noises and look around angrily at you. As if you were the fault that the dwarf has collapsed. You must ask quickly. What will you do? Close the door quickly and continue up the, up the corridor. Draw your sword and try to fight the creatures. Or stride over to the dwarf. Give him a jab with your sword and put on the evil laugh for the torturers. I mean... I'm gonna give Muffin to them and give an evil laugh, because seriously, let's be honest here. If there's, at any point in time, a moment for me to make an evil laugh, it will be this. For I am the owner of all the evil laughs. Obviously. So Muffin, how about you um, dress yourself nicely. Like, put on, put on some cool shit for them. <laughs> and let's see what happens. If I use my evil laugh. <laughs> yes. 68 is the lucky number. The two goblin torches look at each other amazed. Now look at you. They chatter to themselves and then indicate for you to wait while I go off and get another dwarf to give them some more fun. That dwarf is named Muffin. They disappear out of the room and you cut down the dwarf who is, as you guessed, quite dead. You decided best to leave and press on northward up the corridor. Turn to free and free. <laughs> Yes. Bring me the dwarf named Muffin. He shall sate our hunger. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Let's turn to free and free. As if nothing happened, it is all fine. Three hundred and number three. Yes. We are here. In the meantime... I believe we are supposed to, first off, make you a bit longer. No, not thicker, longer. I'm going to break the layout, I'm sorry. I want to make this longer. I don't want to fuck it all up. I guess I don't have a choice. Fuck. Shit. Ah. 
I guess I'll just have to do this the hard way. Stop it. Stop, stop. Ugh. None of you see this happening. This is all background work, right? <laughs> and... There we go. We are back. Nothing happened. It's entirely fine. I'm gonna just draw more shit. So there was a door over there. So there's a wall over here. And there's a wall over here. Then we turn to purple. Put on a large thing. Oh. And make a door over here. Then we get to draw a nice little shape. Because there's a little torture chamber here. And... Let's see. See you soon, James. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> and let's see. I need some text here. So let me just grab you. And call you... Let's see. Goblin torture room. Goblin torture room. I cannot type, as per usual. Torture room. Phone, stop making sounds. You're not allowed to make sounds. Thank you for the host, James. It's awesome. There we go. Silent phone. Goblin torture room. Nice. Uh, actually, put you in there. There we go. Um, bum 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 bum. Um, Cage, you didn't miss much. I had a break. So there was a room with horrible wailing and screaming. And uh, apparently once, once we opened the door, there were two goblins torturing a dwarf. Which they killed just when I came in. So then I went in, stabbed him in, in his abdomen, cut off his head and did an evil laugh. And then they went to get another dwarf. So now I'm getting out. <laughs> Oh, by the way, the dwarf that they're gonna get is called Muffin. Obviously. <laughs> there we go. So that's what you missed, Cage. And, uh... No, Muffin. I don't need to prep for tonight. Because y'all did basically shit all last time, so I literally can use the same prep as last time. Easy. <laughs> so... Let's see. In the meantime... We went to, um, three on the three. There we go. You arrive at the end of the passage, where it meets another going east-west. But an iron portcullis blocks your way, and no amount of char charging is going to budge it. On the wall to your right are two levers, and it seems likely that these le two levers have something to do with raising the portcullis. Do you wish to pull the right lever or the left re lever? So guys, Cage, Cage, you're back. Tell me, right lever or left lever? It's up to you. In the meantime, I'll be drawing, as per usual. So that goes over there. You go over there. You go over there. Cool. Left one. Uh, I need to draw a portcullis. Let's take a small one. There we go. That's the portcullis. We will take the left lever, which is turned to 243. If I die, it is your fault. To your horror, you realize... That this dummy lever was a trap. Though it looked like a handle, it was in fact a wax-coated sword blade. And it has now cut your hand badly. Did you use your right or left hand? Roll one die. If the number you roll is odd, this was your sword hand. Your fighting prowess has been severely hampered. Lose three skill points and one stamina. If you roll an even number, you used your other hand. And so the injury is not quite so important. You lose one skill point and two stamina. If you now wish to pull the right lever, turn to 128. If you don't wish to pull the right lever, you won't be getting much further. And remember, which hand will you use? Cage. You motherfucker. You're
killing me. Oh. Okay, let's see which hand is gonna get fucked up. An odd number. It's gonna be fucking horrible. So let's hope it's an even number. I can't see it. It's still a mystery. Yes, an even number! Woohoo! At least, at least, this, at least this is doable. <laughs> Welcome, Kalinor, by the way. Welcome. I hope you're gonna have some fun with us as we're playing through the Warlock of Firetop Mountain. The old fighting fantasy game. So, let's see. Lose one skill point and two stamina. No, my skill of nine. I liked it at nine. Nine was a good number. Damn it. And... Shit. There we go. And you're going down by two, so you're now at 16. There we go. Uh, let's pull the right lever. And let's just be certain, just for certainty's sake, you know, before anything else happens, I'm using my bad hand because it's fucked up already anyway, and I don't want to fuck up this one. <laughs> uh, very well. Turn to 128. Um, you hear a deep rumbling noise and the ground begins to shudder. Slowly and noisily, the portcullis rises into the ceiling. You may now walk to the junction. We turn west to the 210 or east. Kelenor, since you just did, how about you tell me? Do you go to the west or to the east? Left or right? It is your choice. As I fill out that I need to choose the right lever next time. If I need to come back here. Uh, text. I want you. Give me you. Left lever. Lever. Equals trap. Cool, so we will go to the east. To the right it is. East, where will you take me? Um, East is 58. Wonk. 30, 40, 58. Cautiously you creep along the passageway. After a short time, it turns sharply to the north. At the corner there's a bench of solid wood, and above the bench, a sign reads. Rest ye here, wary traveller. Here you may stop any provisions if you wish. Turn to 15, or continue. Turn to 367. And there's a picture in it! <clears throat> I will show you the picture. PICTURE TIME! Rest here, you wary traveller. So, I don't fully trust this. This is weird. I don't know if I will die if I just try and eat here, so I think I won't do it since I'm 16 stamina anyway. I should be fine. I have most of my stamina left. Let me go draw at this corner. Obviously Mimic. As per usual, with everything. Uh, nope, I'm still on small. Regular, thank you. So you go until there or something. And then you will go there. And then there's this Weird ass, let's see. Since we don't know anything for... You know what? It, let's make this easy. Let's put a little thing in there. There we go. And... Rest bench? Question mark? Exclamation and question mark? <laughs> I don't know. Shit is weird. Hey! Kelenor is allowed to have his own ideas and feelings. If he wants to go east, then we go east. If he's an evil bastard, then let him be. Because so am I. <laughs> so we will continue. We turn to 367. Because I don't trust this shit and I don't want to rest here. 367. Where are you? 350... 367. You arrive at another junction in the passageway. If you would like to turn westwards, 
turn to 237. If you wish to go east, turn to 323. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go with Kelenor. I'm gonna go east again. <laughs> and lines. Whoop. 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 There we go. We have some lines. Jack, we've already sacrificed the muffin. So now we're gonna do anything we can to make sure that Kelenor is shown to be evil so we can kill him as well. That's how it works, right? <laughs> and if you don't like it, you can have a dance off with him. <laughs> I mean, if, the, if you know what, for this one, I am totally fine with Jack and Kelenor having a dance off and the winner telling us where to go. How about that? <laughs> I believe both of you should be capable of doing a, a, a dance of right now. Kelenor, that's entirely fine as long as you're not a warlock, because the warlock is the one who owns this place. <laughs> well, maybe you're lucky this time. Uh, Kellner, if you want to do the dance of, dance of against him, you have to type exclamation mark dance off and then type in his name to accept the challenge. Because we obviously, in this tavern that I own here, Zap's Tavern, we obviously have dance offs. Because those are awesome. I might at some point in life change it to a bard off, but hey. He might just be trolling you guys and not putting it in. <laughs> ah, there we go. I, did you type it wrong? Is that it? I don't know why. Maybe it was Lily just on the edge of being too late. Oh, well. Let's make it easier. Let's make it easier. Since the dance-off is now off the floor... Both of you, you know, both of you type exclamation mark D20. And let's just finish it that way. Let's keep it easy. <laughs> Come on, roll me that D20. Let me see what both of you roll. We have a 10. Kellano, what will, what will you roll? <laughs> Wherever's highest, that side we will choose. Jack is for the west. Kalanor for the east. A twelve! East it is! So east we shall go! <laughs> Congratulations, Kalanor. Next time I have a dance-off, though. I really want to see the dance-off. <laughs> Let's see. East. 320, 323. That's where we go. 325. After a few me meters, you reach another freeway junction. You may go either northwards or eastwards. There's a lot of junctions here. Jesus. Um. So, let's make this while we're at it. And like that. Put you there. And put you there. There we go. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. Well, I mean, we gotta go with this full east thing now, right? Or, oh! You may go either northwards, which is turn to eight. That's pretty interesting. That's like completely in the beginning of the book. Hmm. I, I'm gonna player veto this and say that we go north because I want to go see what is at number eight. Completely beginning of the book. Uh oh. I shouldn't have done this. Should not have done this. Shit, I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> the passage ahead ends at the sturdy door. You listen but hear nothing. You try the handle, it turns and you enter the room. 
As you look around, you hear a loud cry from behind you and swing around to see a wild man leaping towards you, wielding a large battle axe. He's a mad barbarian and you must fight him! Bullshit. <laughs> oh, shit. Barbarian time. Let's see. He has a skill of seven. Which I don't like because I only have have eight left, so that's bad. And he has a stamina of six. Oh my. Oh me, oh my. This is gonna be great. Well. There's a door in the north wall opposite through which you may escape during the battle if I were two one two. If you defeat the Bahrain, turn to two hundred and seventy three. It is time we battle a barbarian. <sighs> Coincidentally, I will say that this barbarian is called Terran and he's an orc. <laughs> a red skinned orc. Because that's my old barbarian. Um, I will draw this shit out later. Let's first do battle, my friend! Skill plus seven! That makes seven plus seven is fourteen! I need to roll an eight! A nine! I do damage. Fuck it, I will... Just, just fuck the shit. Um, I have lowered on my luck. But barely. Jesus. So that's eight there. And I will deal four damage. Because fuck that shit. I want this barbarian to be gone. And now four damage. So that means he's at two. There we go. Now we try again. He rolled a... Oh my. Oh my, that's a fifteen... And I have an 18! Yes! I am the strongest warrior alive! Nothing can do anything to me. <laughs> it is dead. I killed it! I killed it with fire. Well, no, actually, I killed it with sword. But still, it is dead. That's the important part. And I like that. Fuck this barbarian, it's dead. So, if you defeat a barbarian... Turn to 273. Which we shall do. Post haste. A search of the room reveals nothing of value. Although an old box in the corner contains a wooden mallet and fight five short stumps of wood. Shamut at one end. You may take these if you wish and you can now leave through the door in the northern wall. Turn to 189. I got stakes, motherfucker. I can stake a vampire. So, mallet plus five stakes. That's something I have now. Let's hope I don't meet the actual vampire, but I have the stakes at least now. You could say that this game is high stakes. <laughs> and see, that's all I get to do. So I... I'm going to make a little path. Let's see. And then there's a door. Actually, no, wait. Wait, I'm doing this wrong. I... I... Actually, I... Think... Let's see. Draw. And there's a little room. Which ends there. There we go. And then we do this. And then we stop this, grab purple, grab large. Get that one. Then we grab regular again, grab red, because there was a combat in here. And let's just grab you. Barbarian. Steaks. Because that's, that's the important part of this room. Cool. And you. I will grab you. No. I guess I won't grab you. You are not grabbable. I guess I'll just draw you. 
There we go. Jack, there ain't gonna be any sacrificing until it comes up in the game. So don't worry. Everybody got their time. <laughs> oh yes, everybody will get their time. I'm sorry for being evil, so evil, guys. It's just too much fun. <laughs> so let's see. Nobody did the stabby stabby to me. That's good. And now I can go through the northern thingy, which will lead me to 189. Let's see. 188, 89. The door opens into a short corridor which ends several meters ahead as another door, similar to the one you've just come through. You listen and hear nothing. You try the handle, and it turns, allowing you into another room of a similar size. But this room is splendidly decorated, with polished marble floor and rough walls painted white. On each of the four walls hangs a painting, and there's another door in the northern wall. You can either go straight through the room, turn to 80, or you may stop to look at the paintings. Where's my mouse? Because we have a picture! Ha! Picture time once again. I don't know, the, the paintings do look pretty evil here. Are we gonna go uh, look at the paintings? Turn either probably dead from whatever horrible evil magic is in these paintings, or just move on. If we can. Though, to be fair. <sighs> I guess we're doing the paintings. Painting time! Let's see, we turn to 25 to look at the paintings. And 25... See, that's 26. The paintings are portraits of men. Your spine shivers as you read the nameplate under the one of the west wall. It's that of Zagor, the warlock whose treasure you are seeking. You look at his portrait and realize you are pitting yourselves against an awesome adversary. You have the feeling that you are being watched and notice the piercing eyes following you as you move. You find yourself drawn towards the portrait and your fear rises. God damn it. Lose one skill point. Do you have the courage to try to combat the warlock? You might leave through the north door straightway, turn to 190. But treat this as an escape. Or you may look through your pack of weapons to use against the warlock's power. Turn to 340. Well, fuck this shit! I ain't gonna have a painting make me scared and shit! Hell no! Fuck that asshole! Oh. I just noticed, by the way, that the door to the snake room is gone. Let me go make a new door to the snake room! Snake, snake, snake. There we go. Door to the snake room. Then... Door there. And... A door there. And... Grab some green... Wait. Is an easier way. Regular. And make the painting room. There we go. Time to get rid of this bullshit. Guys. We're playing fighting fantasy, not Salem. <laughs> That's werewolf fist. Come on, man. <laughs> um, I am going to 340 to see what kind of horrible shit is going to happen to me. Because fuck these paintings. I'm not going to be scared of a painting. 340. You try various items of equipment against the gaze of the painting, but none seem to work. You may try any of the following and see if, if, the, if you have... Uh, you may try any of the following if you have them. Slash the painting with your sword. I have. 
Hold up a jewel in front of it. I do not have that. Plunge a wooden stake into it. I do have that. Or throw cheese at it. <laughs> I so... I so want to have cheese now. Somebody give me cheese. I need to throw cheese at this thing. <laughs> oh my. Well... To all of you evil bastards, I only have two options here because I have no cheese, no jewels. So are we going to slash it or are we going to stake it? I feel like staking it, so that's one vote for staking. What do you guys think? In the meantime, make a little text here. And call this Warlock. Painting room. Because that's what it is. Though he's not painting in a room. Still. I don't have cheese, so if nobody else is gonna say anything else but, but steak like Cage, then it's gonna be staking. I can't cheese! No much no matter how much I want to, I can't cheese. Okay? Oh my am I. Throw the cheese at it. Can't do that. Let's go to 241 and see what happens when we stake it. 241. Where art thou? As you attack the portrait with your wooden stake, you feel a wrench of, a wrench of pain in your wrist. You are forced by some unseen power to drop the stake. You decide to run and leave through the north door. Turn to 90 but lose one more skill point in half the warlock's power. God damn it! Damn it. I wanted to have cheese. Damn it. It's you guys' fault. You guys didn't bring me anywhere that had cheese. Don't blame this on me. <laughs> <sighs> Wallock's painting room. Don't stake it. <laughs> Staking was obviously the bad choice. I don't have cheese! I can't cheese it if I don't have cheese! 90 we go. You open a door into a narrow passage and follow it northwards. So meters up the passageway, it turns to the east. Then turns to the north. However, at the second bend, there is a small alcove in the rock. It seems a convenient hiding place and a large rock forms a comfortable seat. May stop here and eat provisions if you wish. When you have rested, continue northwards. Turn to 253. Um, sure, why not? I'll take some provisions. Um, I am going to draw a shape. With that inside, as are those uh, whoop, whoop. So, I guess over here I'm allowed to do that shit. Um, then take the polygon line. Put you there. And put you there. There we go, that's a resting place. I will use a provision. Provision. That is 7. Put you at 20. So my attacking power might be shit now, but at least I can still get hit without too much of a trouble. Uh, very well. Continue northwards. Turn to 253. And... Wink. 253. The passageway ends in another wooden door, this time a small one, with a carved bone handle. You listen but hear nothing coming from inside. You try the handle, and the door opens into a pear-shaped room with a rough stone floor, making walking across it somewhat awkward. In one corner of the room is a pile of rubble, mainly stones and dust, but there are also two odd-shaped pieces of wood and a length of rope. A door in the north wall leads on. Will you either examine the bits of wood, study the length of rope, or leave 
through the northern door. So my friends, tell me. The wood, the rope, or the door? I have one vote for rope! Um, in the meantime, I should see if I can grab all of this and just... I don't know. Put it somewhere like that. Make, some, make, some, make a bit more room. Y'all can't see the beginning of this anymore, but that's fine. I can. I will work with it. Um, so we had a door. And that door is obviously colored like that. And we'll have a large thing. And go like that. And we return with a small thing. And we make a pear shaped. Which I can't do much better than that. So you'll just have to pair with me. <laughs> oh my, I'm so sorry. I'm actually not, but still. There's our pear shaped room. It's. Shit. Why didn't it. No! And then grab. For some reason, all the text got moved away from all the. No! No! Stop this! Oh god, this is horrible. Sorry guys, I need a sec to redo. Nah. Oh, how horrible this is. Here we go. Left leave for us the trap. Goblin torture room. Heavy shield. Left behind gloves. Something screaming. Um... The orc dining room, the rest bench, barbarian. There we go. Let's just put you there. Be certain. I'm I'm sorry for this, but fucking hell, everything everything went tits up. Yeah. Normally it's a good thing if shit goes tits up. This time it wasn't. So now we grab all of you. And we put you there like this. Okay. Let's not touch this anymore. <laughs> Jesus. That was not a good thing. Um, I was drawing a pear shaped room last time I checked. Which obviously doesn't look like a pear, but I can't do much better than this. So, screw you all. That one's attention to detail. There you go. Good enough for me. Um, so, I believe if I look here, there's rope, rope, rope. So, time for rope. <laughs> 125! Here we come! It is rope time. And... 40... 25. You pick up the rope. It looks normal. In fact, it looks as if it might be quite useful. You open your pack to put it in. Suddenly it comes alive in your fingers. Snakes, qu uh, snakes quickly up your arm and attempts to wrap itself around your neck. You struggle to cut the rope with your sword before the grips tightens. Test your luck. If you are lucky, you cut the rope and it drops to the ground. If you're not, the rope tightens. Lose one stamina point. You must test your luck again to try and cut the rope. And keep trying until you do. Each time you fill, you lose another stamina point. And reduce your luck score. If you finally defeat the rope, you may leave through the northern door. Turn to 73. The rope is a mimic! No! God damn it. <sighs> Ah. 
Test my luck. Eight or lower. Please roll up. Nice! That's now seven. But I don't lose any stamina. Fuck that rope. Rope mimic. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Why are you guys constantly make me do shit that's just... Just deadly. Fucking hell. You goddamn bastards. You keep on dying every time. You almost dying everything. Because of all of the bullshit that you guys pull. Uh, 73. There we go. Uh, the passage ahead leads you northwards. The rocky floor becomes sandy until eventually you're walking on a sort of coarse sand. You notice the passage is widening and ahead you can hear a flowing river. You continue until you find yourself in a large cavern for which a river flows. Turn to 218. Very well. Let's go put that door in. There we go. Put a large line in there. Something along those lines should be fine. Now, you know, 